Hello guys, so in today's video we are going to see some very urgent hiring for electronics engineers. There is recruitment opportunities from Bharat Electronics Limited and Intel. There is some internships or uh, you know fresher opportunities and entry level opportunities from Intel. Also we will be seeing a very very interesting opportunity from Bharat Electronics Limited. So these are kind of the, the last week's uh, most important uh, recruitment for electronics based candidates. So please watch the video till the end. We are going to see all the details here. We'll be seeing what is the requirement. There is absolutely fresher opportunities. There is uh, some very, very interesting uh, opportunities here. So please watch the video till the end. There is definitely scope for freshers. There is big uh, hirings. Yo, so please watch the video till the end. We'll be discussing everything then. One more thing I want to mention is if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider subscribing. It's going to be really, really useful. So that's it. Let's proceed to the video. The first one we are going to see is obviously from the very famous Parad Electronics Limited. It is an electronics based core company that is coming under the government of India. Uh, so it's like a government in, of India core company. You can say it like that. And one very interesting thing I have noticed here is that they hire very, very frequently. Uh, this time there is opportunity coming for indoor location, uh, which is in Madhya Pradesh. Now, they are hiring for two categories. One is for absolutely freshers. One is little bit higher end post that is asking for two years of experience. Let's uh, not give too much of importance to that one. But the other one, which is for freshers, is obviously having the maximum openings. So, there is hiring happening for trainee engineer one, uh, that is for B, B Tech and BSc. They are not just hiring BB Tech, but also BSc, Computer Science, IT and uh, IS. There is 35 openings there. 28 years is the maximum age limit. And the salary, starting salary is 30,000. They are not asking for any experience. So that is a very good thing. Now there is also hiring happening for project engineer. That is for BB Tech only. And you just need to have a pass class. Here also for trainee engineering uh, engineer also, you just need to have a pass class. But for the project engineer, obviously it is a higher end post. So they have a requirement of 30, uh, sorry, requirement of two years of experience. And 32 years is the age limit. Starting salary is also very good, 40,000. Okay, so that is the case. Age limit we have already seen. 32 years for project engineer and trainee engineer is 28 years. Obviously there is age relaxation for uh, non-creamy layers. Uh, schedule cast, schedule drive persons with benchmark disability. So there is age relaxation. Method of selection. Uh, selection is through written examination. We have already uploaded the video for the selection process of BEL. It's a detailed video out in the channel. Go watch that video. You can find the details there. Uh, yes, so you will get all the details in that video. The details regarding the selection date, when you everything will be emailed to the candidates uh, who are getting shortlisted okay selection process of the trainee engineer is also going to happen based on the written test written test is going to be conducted for 100 marks uh yeah everything we have given in a detailed video so you don't have to uh waste time here just go watch that video okay let's see the uh, details here experience project engineer needs two year of experience trainee engineer doesn't need any experience Project engineer is for four years. The tenure is up maximum up to four years, and trainee engineer is maximum up to three years. Salary is like uh, first year it is thirty thousand, then it's going to be like five thousand, five thousand increment every year. Okay, so trainee engineer initially thirty thousand, then thirty five thousand, then forty thousand. Project engineer forty thousand starting uh, on the first year, second year it is forty five thousand, so five year five thousand increment is happening. So, in order to apply for this, just go to the site of uh, Bharat Electronics Limited, BL India, uh, its job site. You can find the details there. Okay. One thing I want to mention here is there is fees for applying. Uh, yeah, Government of India, whatever exams you are giving, most of them has like a fees because they just want to cut off some people by keeping the fees. But that's the process. You have to go through the uh, fees and everything and but the after that if you are uh, getting selected you are going to secure your life with a very good uh, company right 
So here the fees is 400 plus or minus 18 percentage GST. That is the case for general OBC and EWS. For SCST, it is uh, 150 plus or minus 18 percentage GST. Application fees is non-refundable. Everything we have mentioned here. The last date for applying is uh, 1 1 that is January 1st. So when you are seeing the video, there is one more day. Please apply for it fast. Okay. Let's proceed to the Intel recruitment opportunities. The first one is Intel Lab Research Fellow. It is a kind of a GRF uh, or a research fellow post. It's a very latest opportunity that is coming for the Bangalore location. Requirement here is you should be having either MS in triple E or CS or you should be having PhD, Masters or PhD. Uh, EU, if you are having any research experience in your college, which all the PhD candidates has and which all the ma the masters like M MEM tech if you are having, all those candidates have. So it's like if you have done masters means you have a research experience. So it's like something that is in your syllabus. So they have just given it like that. So don't worry. You don't need to worry like, oh, I don't have research experience if you have. Done masters means obviously the last semester is a thesis work. So it's like it's in your college. So technical expertise they are asking you C++, Perl, Python. Python is very, very, very much inevitable nowadays. So please learn Python. Yeah. Expertise in VLSI design or accelerated uh, based architecture. Expertise in emerging AI cloud workload characterization and workload driven architecture. Yes. So it is like a research fellow opportunity. It's going to be for a three year. Uh, it's like a three year fellowship program. Okay. Next one is architecture research scientist. Again for Bangalore location full time. Requirement is. Yeah, before that processor architecture research lab. That is a research lab. They're looking for uh, research leaders. For the following topic advanced cpu uh uncore micro architectures cross stack uh, co-optimized gpu cpu yeah processor based research they are conducting okay again the requirement is almost the same should be having either phd or masters again research experience if you are having that is something desired uh yeah c plus plus pearl python knowledge of uh, simulators compilers runtime os etc vlsi design if you're having experience in that is something very good to have yeah third one is software research scientist or engineer that is also a research opening a lot of research openings is there for uh i would say electronics candidates bangalore location again designing and patterning ai group uh under Intel Technology Development Organization is looking for a passionate, result-oriented, and innovative software engineer to develop mission-critical software solutions. AI ML based. This is okay. This is like a software research engineer, and the research is happening on machine learning, artificial intelligence. The requirement is again PhD degree in electrical, computer science, mechanical engineering, chemical, computer engineering, um, applied math or related. Uh, degrees related degrees with a software focus at least one year of experience in c++ python data analysis etc or if you are having masters and four year of experience or minimum three year of experience in uh, c++ python data analysis cad tool etc that's also decide okay so if you are having one year of experience after phd or three year of experience after masters you can apply for this one Let's move to the last opportunity. TCAD Research Engineer. Uh, again, Bangalore location. TCAD Research Engineer responsibilities are dependent on the subgroup and will include but not limited to applications, creating applications, creating softwares, etc. Preferred qualifications, you don't have to really look that. Minimum qualification is you should be possessing a master's or PhD. In electrical semiconductor physics or step one year of experience minimum is desired 
uh, in the field of semiconductor devices, physics, modeling expertise in particular areas of interest including quantum transport, device transport, etc. Preferred qualifications is two plus of years of research work experience. That's also, you don't have to look for preferred qualification. If you are meeting the minimum qualification, in my opinion, definitely apply for this. Okay, so that's all for today's video. It's like a lot of opportunities for electronics based people. Explore them. Uh, apply for it if you are uh, eligible. And these degrees, mostly they have common kind of opportunities. And I'm trying to definitely make a video that is uh, like what is the scope of electronics candidates. So that video will be coming very soon. Uh, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching the video. Keep watching.